Hi, I'm TQ. I'm JQ behind the camera. And we've got Marie. We're the Q Brothers, and this is Small Flower TV. Um, we've got Mariko Sato Marcel <laughs> with us again with Chidoria. We're doing our third video, so if you haven't seen the others, go back and watch them. But we're going to do something. We want to get a little bit hands on with this beautiful line that we've talked about. Uh, this is the product, um, the Azuki Micrograins and Brown Sugar Soap. And so, Mariko's got the puck right there. It comes in a package like this, which is a gorgeous hand pa uh, handmade paper, and it's just incredible. But she was saying that there's a particular way to lather it, yes? Yeah. Yes. So you were talking about, that. Yeah, why don't you talk about the traditional technique you're talking about for lathering the soap, and this is for washing face, and you emphasized, yes. I think, to me, when we were talking, the importance. Talk about the importance of, of washing in Japanese beauty. Yes. You, no, usually, when you hear uh, wash your face with uh, with soap, mm -hmm. it sounds like wow, that's drying. Yeah. This is never drying. It's this soap is very moisturizing. The key is to make a lot of lather. It's very creamy, and you have less uh, tension mm -hmm. to your skin if you use this lather and then massage your skin uh, with this and show you how to make. Yeah, I love watching you do this, and as a wet shaver, this is very, it's sort of like you're doing a hand version of what we do with a brush and a bowl, you know? So you, you use the puck only for a little while, and then the rest of it is just building lather on lather, yeah? Yes, exactly. You see how it wow. turns out? Because azuki contains saponin, uh, it helps to, to lather up, it's very creamy, it's very good for the skin, and it's healing. It balance your sebum. This soap is very good. It's good for all skin types. And I don't want to steal your lather, but you were talking about how I just want to explain the texture right now. Yeah, so you can see it's, it's so thick and creamy, but also viscous. Also, it's yeah, it's viscous, but it, it's almost a stickiness to it yes. that does not feel like sudsy detergent drying that we think of when you talk about washing your face with a soap. Right. It feels like wow, this would be naturally cleansing, but also almost balancing to the skin at the same time. Am I right? Exactly. It's so creamy. You can't wait to wash your face. Yeah, right? I was gonna say, gosh, I can't wait. I, I want to use this, and it's and uh, explain to me. So for people, in, you know, even based on what you just said, there are going to be people who are going to say, well, my skin is not the right type to wash with a bar soap. Right. So tell me what you're thinking about that. And I would, I, and I, while I, while you while you do that, I'm gonna kind of show you that there are different bar soaps too. Like this, you said, yeah. is probably the one that would be most friendly for what skin types? All skin types. All skin types, yes. okay. And this soap, Azuki and brown sugar soap, contains no essential oils in it. So yeah. it's, it's good for sensitive skin yeah. and uh, there's all no, skin types. There's no real scent to it. It's no, just kind it's of a, an oil, brown sugar, sort of yes. very neutral, Everything. It has a camellia oil wow. as a base, so it's moisturizing at the same time. Yeah, and then yes. the high in the oleic acids that you exactly, mentioned. Exactly, exactly. That's great. And you feel so clean after using this soap. Well, and look at the how it's it stays nice. in a ball. It's just like it's so viscous that it's not. It doesn't even spread out. And you've been doing this for so long. I mean. Shave people would dream of getting a lather that will last that long with no it's with no addition. Doesn't dry out. It doesn't yeah. dry out. Yeah. It's amazing. So there are a few other bars of soap. I'll just point out there is one for drier, mature skin. That's the yes. pure silk and rice brand soap. Yes. It's and then we, there is the um, the green tea and pearl barley soap, which is for the combination to oily skin as well. Yes. So, but we'd like to. I know Jay's. Like he's ch champing at the bit right now to try and get um, get over here and wash his face. So <laughs> why don't we switch it off? And Jay, you want to wash face and tell us what it feels like? That's great. Great. <laughs> okay, so Jay, you're uh, you've just prepared your face by wa wetting it and warming up the skin a bit, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now you've taken this beautiful ball of lather that <laughs> Mariko has uh, graciously. Creative. Yeah. Yeah. This is amazing feeling. I mean, it is pretty amazing that you can, you it's know, like a meringue, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like lemon meringue. It's it like is. a. It's that same texture. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't like. Um, 
Can you see? Yeah, yeah, I was just saying, keep your, you stay your body over the sink a little bit so we get to see you. Yeah, it, it's, I'm, I mean, I'm jealous that you're getting to try it and I'm not. That's I, I just, say. Yes, you can just directly apply it and then be massage and keep, keep it, you know, keep, keep massaging it for a little bit longer than you usually do. How long would you, would you suggest? Uh, a few minutes, just okay. gently massage, not like, you know, up and yeah. down, but gently yeah. massage so. to, you know, make sure Look you... Look how thick that out. lather is. Oh, I can't, they have a shave soap too. Uh, Chidoria does and I cannot wait to try it because uh, it smells amazing and it's gonna I think it's gonna be great but this is really fun to watch Jeffrey <laughs> bury his face in lather like this how are you feeling Jeffrey yeah describe the sensation you know oh, you open your eyes. I gotta <laughs> say <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, uh, my eyelashes are so big that they, I can, yeah, I've built the built-in little traps. Wow. Yeah, um, the, the, the benefit of being hairy guys like yeah. that's you. So I think, like, I think, I think what, what I'm not used to about it, well, first of all, the lather feels amazing. It's super thick and it definitely does not feel, immediately does not feel like harsh in any way. Um, the other thing that I'm not used to with soap is, is absolutely no essential oils, which I find actually like soothing like, you know usually I find a soothing essential oil soap which is fine but I think for my particular skin which does break out is dry and gets reddish right. perhaps just without anything is even better you know yes. so it has camellia oil in it so it's moisturizing and soothing and, and the rice it. brand talk about the the I mean, this is this was. I'm sorry, I'm mixing them up, but um, yes, we have rice yeah, yeah, and yeah. the silk facial soap for yeah, yeah. Uh, very dry skin or mature skin and sensitive skin. That's also very good. Uh, silk protein is very similar to uh, skin, uh, the protein that uh, found oh. in the skin, so it helps to uh, helps with uh, blemishes. Uh, help with. All right, am I good? Do you think here? Yes. Please Let's go. <laughs> um, yes. You know what? It's right next to you. Here, send me that. You're gonna just use yeah, this? That's okay. I'll just pat. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you. Okay. Are you feeling okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually. I mean, I think it's been probably Good long years time. since I used a bar soap on my mm -hmm. face. You know, that's not something that I would normally do. Um, but that did feel not feel... Best. It feels very squeaky clean. It feels like as dry as you want your skin to be just after clean, clean yeah, yeah, but not harsh and not like a detergent exactly. soap, you know? Why don't you grab a little bit of the peach blossom water uh, behind you and splash that on as a little toner just so we can get the sensation of that because I'm really excited about that. We reviewed it in another video. Yes, it's got 34 times more polyphenol than what's in um, red wine. <laughs> that is still, that's so an amazing oxidant. statistic. Yes. It really helps with collagen productions. It's just so refreshing. It is so yes. refreshing. Yeah, it feels great. It's good. It's refreshing. All right. Mm -hmm. That's great. The verdict, Jay? I love it, man. I love it. In fact, I'm going to throw on just as like a little bonus here. You just need a tiny bit. A tiny bit of this yes. uh, shea butter Very face cream, right? I'll show you how to use okay, it. Okay, you show me. Because so, there's a little sort of... Yes, so you just need about this Can much. you hold up your hand when I see it? So yes, I can yes. see it. Can you see it? Yeah. Maybe okay. about This much. much. Yes. Show it, Jay. Show your hand do? this way. Yes. So that little jar is very concentrated. It's going to last a long time, right? Yeah. You have to warm, warm it, warm, warm emulsify it. Yes, warm it so it penetrates mm -hmm. quickly mm -hmm. and it's not oily. This is amazing. <coughs> this is the amazing part of this uh, face cream, Michael and Geiko cream. 
Uh, this Michael Cream has rose hip seed oil in it, so mm -hmm. it's good for combination skins as well. So you kind of put it on like this. Right, exactly. Exactly. Alright. And then try this water again. Again, it feels just a little very bit, good. yeah. Yes. Just to kind of. Yeah, it does feel good because it's a very nice. thick, yes. thick cream, so it's, it's nice to add a little bit more water afterwards. Yes, yeah. exactly. All right, Jay, how do I look? Looking good. Beautiful. As <laughs> usual. So I'm just going to jump here in between so we can see. Um, this is Small Flower TV with Mariko and Chidoria signing off. Thank you for joining us. See you. Wash your face. <laughs> Wash your face. <laughs>